Welcome to Dr. Judge Runs, and I'm gonna rant about... <laughs> right. Jerusalem Post. Russian politician threatens Alaska. Says, quote, We can claim it, but... No. Ah, shit, I don't know how to make a Russian accent. We can come against the park. No, I can't. I can't make the Russian accent. The chairman of the Russian state Duma warned that Russia could claim Alaska if the U.S. tries to, quote, dispose of our resources, end quote. <laughs> that, that, that's actually kind of funny. Seeing the disaster that they're doing in Ukraine with barely holding together, <clears throat> it's full of incompetent soldiers, incompetent generals, lackluster military equipment, bad tactics, and the massive losses that they are facing, that would be quite interesting to see them attempt to do that. It definitely would lead to a world war, but um, uh, details, tiny details that nobody fucking cares. It's actually kind of hilarious to think that Russia is capable of doing that. Then again, they have been saber-rattling for decades. Upon decades, they see themselves as the angel, guardian angels of the planet Earth, and things like that. You're yeah, not. You're far from it. And to top it all, they see themselves as the saviors. At least lately, they seem to be going extra mile on the savior. Snaps. Why am I thinking of Kingdom Come right now? Right. Yeah, because every time I connect the word savior, I, I, I connect with savior schnapps. Which was a drink on Kingdom Come in the first release that you actually had to take to save the game. Right. Right. Where was I? Oh, right. Chairman of the Russian state Duma Vyacheslav Volodin warned that Russia could demand Alaska back if the US continues to seize Russian resources abroad on Wednesday. And what you gonna do about it? If the US says, well... Yo, bro, you can go suck on my cock! What are you gonna do about it? Oh, come on, take it! Or something like that. Nothing. <laughs> really. But anyway. If it is decency or weakness, we are always have something of response. Lot of America of always remember that there is a part of its territory, Alaska. When they start trying to dispose of resources abroad, before doing so, let them think that we also have something to come back. Hey, that's my shitty attempt at making a Russian accent. Don't judge me, judging me is xenophobic. And all the obic and ists and isms and things like that. Right. It's kind of funny, really. Because, um, then again, Russia and its saber rattling, especially in the war, kind of have increased. They have been violating the airspace and territorial waters of multiple countries, including Japan. Hey, Japan is also in a bit of a pickle with Russia, especially in the Kuril Islands, which the Russians claim it to be their own, even though they've been there for only a couple of weeks during the World War II, right at the tail end of the war. And that's about it. Right. The territorial field. The Russian politician referred to the threat he made earlier to denounce a maritime treaty between Norway and Russia after some shipments were blocked from traveling through Norway's water, saying that Norway didn't allow the shipment to go through. Imagine, imagine if we constructed, if we instructed about Alaska, you look, America would start supplying fish where it should be. It should be. They're volodying. According to Ria Novosti, Vurudin. I'm so stressed that Russia does not interfere in America's affairs. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, no. Uh, let me just go and point it out that you kind of did do that a lot during the uh, <clears throat> Cold War, and we see that on the current uh, disaster of the culture war we have today, that you're trying to undermine America and, um, and everything else. Yeah. You're the best man off. Check it out. You're gonna love it. What Russia did to America. And love it, I mean, I'm being sarcastic. So, Russia, you can go choke on my goddamn fucking balls. Oh, and before you do, do choke on it, lick it. My, brawl, my balls are dry. And that goddamn fucking hell. Have a great fucking night.